Hello, my name is Finn, and today I'm going to tell you about the carnivorous plan. So, you hear all my carnivorous plans that I have to draw, but that's all that I know, but there's a lot more that I don't remember. Now, we will start the Venus flytrap. The Venus flytrap is the most popular carnivorous plant in the world. Well, you know, it looks, this is its mouth and these are the teeth. Sometimes they even look like this. It looks like a leaf. But an insect just right on it. It's it just, it trapped the insect inside it for minutes until <clears throat> until the the insect dies. There's one more way. Why do the insect land inside the Venus flytrap mouth? That is because it has a mouth. A very sweet smell that the insect come to the mouth and there are also some hairs, the hairs on the mouth, which when the insect just touch the hair, so sometimes it will send a signal to the Venus water and just snap the mouth. Now, we will go next to a pitcher plant. Why do it call pitcher plant? Because it looks like a pitcher. So, it also has a sweet smell too. Insects come to there and they're going to drink the nectar inside it. Yep. And the, the insect got trapped inside. So, this is the leaf. So, it just shut. And the insect can't go anywhere. And so, it just can't go anything. Those these white things, they thought they are accent. So they just come in the accent. But actually, that's, that's just another trap. Um, they stay there for a little while and be melted by those white objects. But the picture plants can sometimes be called a monk. Monkey bottle. That's because sometimes monkeys drink the water instead of pitcher plants when the rain goes in, which is very sweet. That's okay for big monkeys, but small monkeys sometimes get trapped in. Some pitcher plants are very big, sometimes it's giant. They can sometimes Put my mice, bats, and frogs. Rats too. So, <clears throat> but even some picture plants are gigantic. They can even trap a snake inside. Which this is the third. This is the third plant. This is the cactus. No. Nah. So, this really like cactus, but different a little bit. Find some spike here, and when the inside land on on this plant, so it will just roll, roll, and the inside got trapped. Or sometimes some big insects are trapped. You know these things? The, they are just uh, maybe sap, which looks like glue and just glue the insect, which the insect will trap there for minutes and be melt away. They don't eat it in the stem, they, the insect just melt it. So, here comes the fourth. 
Uh, this is a fourth plant called a cobra lily. A cobra lily, like, you can this name from a cobra. So, a cobra, this is really look like a cobra. And it has a lot of holes there. Which insects, which come in, thought they could come, come out of it, but not. But it's just traps. Inside, there's a hole, which have uh, nectar, which the uh, arrow, the inside or in there, eat the nectar. What happened next? The thing. They just be trapped there. Trapped in the nectar. Die for a second. But this is very interesting. The last plant. The snap trap. Which can catch inside in two times. So these are the roots. And this is a head, look like a Venus flytrap head. And it sometimes eat small animals like small fish, items, seaweed, and others too. But, <clears throat> but you know these things? No, bubbles. Bubbles can even eat even more small things. But smaller, things? not more smaller. Like strings are much smaller. Even um, it's also also eat plantains, human bugs, and others. So firstly, the bo the bubble is opening like this, and then left a whole space there. And when an animal just touch the a bubble, it Zap! And the animal got trapped. So, it will be trapped like this. Like this. Now, it will also, it, it also just the uh, insect looks like the least pressure does. So, you'll like them or not. Now, and that is something I can tell you about. The Venus flytrap. Thank you for listening. Good night.